Hey guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to talk about this story I've been following up with for the past few days. And of course, it's coming from my first favorite state, honey, wretched ass Florida, okay? So what's going on in Florida is that six days ago, I found out about a murder of a young boy. His name was Brian Brown. He was an excellent football player. He got a full scholarship to go play football in California. And he's supposed to leave Florida July 1st. So initially when the story first came out, they stated that he was doing a transaction with somebody that he met on Craigslist. He was supposedly selling a PlayStation and they don't know what happened, but something went awry and he just got shot. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch the initial news story and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A 19 year old boy, a recent graduate who was about to head to college to play football. The star athlete was shot and killed during a Craigslist sale. Local 10 News reporter Jeff Wines here live in North Miami Beach now with a reaction from one heartbroken family. Jeff. Brian Brown was a standout on the football field at North Miami Beach Senior High School. He was just two weeks away of leaving South Florida, starting the next chapter in his life. But those dreams were shattered Wednesday afternoon at about 3 o'clock behind me. He was the uh, most valuable defensive player. Craig Brown clings to the MVP trophy his son Brian earned. This meant a lot to him because it showed his hard work, you know. <sighs> the pain for this family, unbearable. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to live without Brian. I don't know how. 19-year-old Brian graduated from North Miami Beach Senior High School just last week. In two weeks, he was headed to Merced College in Northern California. Brian, number eight on the field, had earned a full ride to play football. To see your son accomplish some things in, in life that you never did and, you know, to go so far, you know, and he did that. Wednesday afternoon, Brian was shot three times in the area of Northeast 177th Street and 9th Avenue. His girlfriend, who was with him at the time, immediately rushed him over to Jackson North. But because that's not a trauma facility, he was transported from that ER over to Aventura. And family members believe too much precious time was wasted transferring him. His family says Brian had posted an item for sale on Craigslist and had met someone who was interested in buying it but they don't know what went wrong. They, they, they don't know. They couldn't have known who he was to want to shoot him in his back. Number eight was a starter for the NMB Chargers for three seasons. He had this demeanor where he was always having fun. You wouldn't find one person to tell you that he didn't have a heart of an angel. Not one person. NMB football coach Jeff Bertani called Brian's play on the field phenomenal and said the best was still yet to come. Police releasing very little information. All of the information that we are getting is from family members. But if you know anything that can help police in this case, you're asked to call the Miami-Dade Police Department. All right, so you guys just saw the story about um, Brian Brown. So now it's come out as of yesterday. They have the suspect who shot him in custody. The suspect is 22 years old. His name is Ed Lamar. And basically, this was not over a Craigslist transaction. This was over some marijuana. He tried to rob Brian Brown of $90 worth of marijuana. And when Brian wouldn't give it up, he shot this young man three times. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this updated news story on this situation concerning Brian Brown. Check this out. Murder of a local high school football star who he apparently planned to rob in a drug deal. Local 10's Leanne Morejon is live in North Miami Beach with the latest tonight. Leanne. Well, this suspect was not only identified through a photo lineup, but he also allegedly confessed to the crime. The shooting happening right there in that intersection behind me nearly two weeks ago. Ed Lamari. 22 year old Ed Lamari appeared in Dade Bond Court today, ready to hear the charges against him. You were arrested for one count of S second degree murder. He's accused of killing 19 year old Brian Brown, a recent graduate of North Miami Beach Senior High School and was headed to Merced College in Northern California. Brian earned himself a full ride to play college football. I can say at least two, three hundred people have came here, hugged me and told me 
how, how, how such a great kid he was. It was 4 p.m. on June 14th when Brown was shot three times in the area of Northeast 177th Street and 9th Avenue. Lamari is accused of getting into the back seat of Brown's car. Brown's girlfriend initially said it was for a Craigslist transaction, but police now say Lamari was trying to buy pot from Brown. Right, well, it's a drug deal gone bad. He wanted to buy some marijuana and he didn't have the money, so he wanted to rob the victim instead shot and killed shot him and then the victim died. Brown's girlfriend who was with him at the time rushed him to Jackson North but he was transferred to Aventura Hospital. He was brought to the hospital in critical condition and died shortly after. Brian is my youngest kid. I don't know how I'm going to live without Brian here. And Brown's father told me today via text message that Lamari's arrest brings little temporary relief for him and his family. Lamari now behind bars without bond. Live in North Miami. All right, Louisiana. so you guys just saw the updated story. And this whole situation is just sad and it's senseless and it makes no sense. You know, I feel really bad for his mother and father. I know they're heartbroken. You know, this young man had his whole life ahead of him. He was getting ready to start a whole new chapter in his life. He managed to get a full football scholarship, you know, to get up out the hood and go to college and go play ball in California. You know, the reason why I want to talk about this story is that I want a lot of young people to realize this, okay? When you have things to live for, when you have things that are going good in your life, such as, you know, being blessed to have a full scholarship, a free ride to go to college and play ball, you cannot continue to involve yourself in nefarious activities. Am I saying because he sold weed, he's a bad person? No, I know a lot of people who sell weed. It is what it is. But you have to really be mindful of the things that you do, especially once you receive your blessings. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to realize everybody's not going to be happy for you. When I first heard the story, I felt like it didn't make a lot of sense because it's one thing to do a Craigslist transaction, but I think there's been enough stories in the media over the past few years that people know to meet in a neutral location like a police station or somewhere safe before doing any type of transaction on Craigslist. And initially, it looked like they were just meeting up in the neighborhood. So I didn't really buy the whole Craigslist story. I felt like there was more to the story. This marijuana story makes a lot more sense. And what I really wish this young man, Brian, would have known is that, you know, when you receive your blessings, everybody's not going to be happy for you. This murder, to me, was not over $90 worth of marijuana. That's not even a lot of weed. It wasn't like he was about to rob him for a pound or a QP. $90 worth of weed is not a whole lot of weed. This is a story about a young man who's 22 years old, who's obviously not doing shit with his life. You know what I'm saying? He has nothing going for his life. And he sees this young man who's 19. Everybody in the neighborhood knows him as a star football player. He done got a full scholarship. He's about to get up out the hood. For all we know, four or five years from now, he could have been playing in the NFL. Sometimes people's jealousy and their animosity will do things to harm you. This young man should not have been selling weed because you never know what people's true intentions for you were. And I feel like this is bigger than him trying to rob that young man of $90 worth of weed. It's bigger than that. He didn't have to kill that man for that weed. The weed is his excuse. To me, it's bigger than that. What I see is jealousy. I see somebody who knew Brian. Obviously, Brian was comfortable enough to meet up with him and do this transaction and allow Ed to come into his car. I see somebody who's older, who sees this young man coming up. He's doing his thing. And he's jealous because his life is not where he probably thought it would have been. He's 22. You're copping weed from a 19-year-old. You have nothing to show for your life. Obviously, you have nothing to live for if you're so quick to pull the trigger on somebody else. You know, so as young people, I want you guys to be careful. When you're receiving blessings like this and you're trying to start the next chapter of your life, like I tell people all the time, sometimes you got to keep your secrets and your ambitions and your goals to yourself. Because there are so many dream killers out there. There's so many people who want to kill your dreams and tell you that you're not, they're not going to work out for you. You're never going to be shit. And because they're not doing nothing with their lives, they don't want to see you succeed. And I feel like this murder was bigger than him trying to rob Brian of weed. He was trying to rob Brian of his joy. He was trying to rob Brian of his blessing. And he didn't want to see Brian succeed because he himself ended up not being a success in life. So we have to watch out for people like this. And again, when you're blessed... In the way that Brian was blessed, you just can't evolve yourself in nefarious activities because even though something is selling weed may seem innocent to a lot of people, you just cannot involve yourself in certain activities. You can't involve yourself with people in the hood and still do hood stuff. 
but then want to better your life because sometimes the hood don't love you. You know what I'm saying? Tupac done said that before. So I just find this whole situation just really, really sad. This 22-year-old man is a damn loser. Florida needs to lock his ass up and throw away the key. The fact that you were so comfortable taking this young man's life and you're claiming that it was over some weed. But I personally feel like it was way bigger than this whole weed situation. Either way, it's sad. Rest in peace to Brian. You know, I feel really bad for his parents. You know, I know they're taking it hard. They sat there and, and raised him and went through all this and, you know, probably were at every football game only for his life to end like this. It's just so tragic and so senseless. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation that's once again coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.